Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will go through all the different things you want to do each week in order to make some gold in WoW Dragonflight. So this is the second video in the series. I already published once where I went through all the daily activities you can do and again that can reward you with quite a lot of gold. And this time I will be focusing on the weekly activities. So the first thing I would recommend you to do is all the different time walking activities when they are up. So probably every two or three weeks, you will have one of these time walking events up. And what you want to do is on all your different characters, you want to complete the dungeon once in order to get this quest item that you can then complete in order to get 500 time wrap badges. This is something that is very easy to do and I would definitely recommend because with these badges you can then buy a couple of items that can be sold on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. Some of these items include for instance the portable yak wash. This is a toy you can buy when the Mist of Anaria time walking event is up. And when Wrath of the Lich King time walking is up you can buy some bags of fishing treasures and inside these bags you have a chance of getting this hat just here. Uh, the battle battered jungle hat as you can see this is a cosmetic and this is something that as you can see is really interesting or the diamond tip cane another item that you can sell for quite a lot of gold on the auction house so just do that once per week per character when these events are up and like that you will then be able to buy all these items when the right time walking event will be up after that we're going to talk about raw gold farming so if you are someone who enjoys doing some of the raids or some of the dungeons from previous expansions in order to then sell all these items and then make some gold, this is something you want to do once per week with your different characters. So for instance, right now, I think Battle for Azeroth might be one of the best raids to do this type of things. Most of these items can be sold for quite a lot of gold. And again, this is something you can do in order to then make a little bit of raw gold. You have other ways to make some raw gold with all the previous raids from previous expansions. But again, it really depends each time which are the ones that are the most profitable. Uh, I know that, for instance, some raids from Mr. Panara can be extremely good as well, but with the launch of Dragonflight, they might have been maybe nerfed a little bit. So try to do maybe the ones from Battle for Azeroth and others where you see that the value of the items are really interesting. And like that, once per week, you will be able to do a little bit of raw gold just by killing all these bosses and vendoring all the items you get from all these different raids. And talking about raw gold at number three, we're going to have the weekly quest that you can do with all your different characters, aiding the Accord. So this is basically a quest that requires you to gain 3000 reputations with all the different factions from the Dragon Isles, and then you will be rewarded with these Valdraken treasures. And basically inside you will be able to get as you can see, 1,500 raw gold, which is not a lot, but it's still something you want to make sure to pick up each time you start a new week. And like that, you will be able to do a little bit of gold. And also keep in mind, all the different professions are very important for gold making, whether it's to unlock recipes or unlock like toys or pets or things like that. And so it's always good to have all these reputations maxed out. So this is another interesting thing that you should do once per week. After that, we're going to talk about the new raid, the Vault of the Internet. And there is one boss in particular that you want to try to kill every week with all your different characters. And this is Kurog Grim Totem. So basically, when you kill Kurog Grim Totem, you will have a chance at getting a very rare formula in order to then craft the Illusion uh, Primal Mastery. And this formula can be sold on the auction house for a lot of gold. Sometimes more than 300, like 300, 400k gold. So definitely this is something you want to try and get every time. So this is something you can do on all your different characters. You don't need to have enchanting in order to get the items to drop. And also you can do it in all the different difficulties. So really, if you have the chance get at a killing Kurog, try to do it. And like that, you might have a chance at getting this rare formula. And then you can make a lot of gold with this item. After that, we're going to have the Community Feast event. This is something that you can do with all your different characters in the Dragon Isles, and you will have to go in Iskara in order to participate in this event. So here, with this event, you will have a chance at getting the Alchemical Favor Pocket, which is an item you can sell on all the different realms from your region. So this is something that sells pretty quick and for a really good price. And basically, in order to get this item, you just want to accept the quest from 
the little mob that is just next to the chef. And like that, you just want to complete five activities and then you will be able to complete the quest and to then open this little chest that you will get and maybe you will have a chance at getting the uh, pocket. So keep in mind, this is something you can do once per character per week and you don't really need to be level 70 or whatever. All you want to do is go on your map and just check sometimes because every three hours you will have this icon that will pop just here and that will let you know that the community feast event will start soon. So just go do the few activities and complete the quest. And like that, you will have a chance of getting this interesting item. And also one thing that is important to note is the fact that you need to have at least on one of your character reached Renown level three with the Iskara Tusker. And then you will be able to basically unlock these different events on all your different characters. After that, we're gonna have all the knowledge points that you can get every week and that will help you have better skills and better recipes when it comes to the different professions. So this is something that is very important if you are into crafting or even just gathering or just using all these professions in order to make some gold. And this is really something that you want to do each week. So the first thing, of course, are all the different quests that you can get from these four uh, mobs just here. They will give you this gathering quest and you can do one per character per week per profession. Then you will also have the different quests from your uh, different professions. So here it will mainly be just crafting things and you can just go and talk to normally the trainer for your profession and you will be able to get these different quests. And then you also want to open all the different expeditions Scott's pack that you can basically find all around the Dragon Isles because they have a chance at dropping some items that can also um, give you one extra knowledge point. And finally, you just want to kill some rares and mobs and everything because you will have another chance at getting another item that we will reward you with another extra point. And then finally, at number one, you have the famous trial of the elements that you can do. So this is a weekly event that you can do once per character. And basically, all you want to do is go in Taljasus in the Primalist future by using this little portal. And then when you are here, you will have this icon, the elemental bone chest is up. So all you want to do is go click on this chest and then it will start this little event where you need to kill some mobs. And at the end, you need to kill a mini boss and then you will receive a chest. And inside this chest, you can get some really interesting items. So as you can see from this chest, you can really get a lot of things. But the one item we're after is the design for the ring bone hourglass. So this is one of the rings you can craft with jewel crafting. And this is a design you can sell on the auction house for a lot of gold. As you can see, currently the value on European realms is 490k gold to 442 and 500 to 614 on US realms. And keep in mind, you can get it on any of your characters. You don't need to be a jewel crafter. So this is something that you can really try and do each week in order to then get this uh, design. And trust me, this design actually sells for this price. And so definitely this is something you want to do. And normally, this, this is probably something that will remain relevant even later in the expansion. So try to do it even at the end of this patch. And of course, the easiest way to find a group to do it is to simply type a trio or something like that. And normally you will be able to find some groups that are doing this event. Or if you have the event up on your realm and you're alone like me, you can also just create one group and most likely you will have people joining and then you can do and complete this short event. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Of course, I'm sure I forgot some activities you can do also from previous expansions. So please let me know in the comments if I forgot anything important. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And of course, I will do a third episode on the monthly activities. But in the meantime, I wish you all a great weekend. Bye.